Controller players are often some of the most widely known players for being dominant with their aim, but that isn't always precisely true. In fact, most controller players have a harder time aiming than their PC counterparts. Only the best of the best controller players have good aim. And that is why, ladies and gentlemen, we compiled this guide to help all of you fellow controller players up your game. Some of the world's best controller players are highly known for their ability to be very consistent with their aim. Why is this? Well, it's because at the controller, you know, you can actually be much more consistent than keyboard and mouse. Go figure. If practiced right, and if you use it correctly, controller aiming mechanics in Fortnite, it's gonna allow for players to become insanely accurate and very deadly. This guide is everything you need to become a controller monster in Fortnite. So before we hop right into this video, you guys already know the drill. Check out ProGuys.com where we have new updated daily articles and videos to suit all of your Fortnite needs. We have some of the highest skill coaches in the game, so check it out right now by clicking the description in the link below. All controller players in Fortnite are given the aim assist option. Aim assist allows for much more accurate and consistent aiming thanks to the mechanics built in by Epic. Now, aim assist not only slows down aim when the reticle is near opponents, but it also pulls your aim towards the opponent. This, my friends, is a huge advantage that controller players have over keyboard and mouse players, sorry to say, just being honest, who do not have the luxury of aim assist. Now you know what aim assist is, but in order to dominate opponents with it, you must know how to utilize it as effectively as possible. So let's just move on to how you can maximize your effectiveness with aim assist. To start, you're gonna wanna hop into a creative lobby with a friend as soon as you can, so you can get some practice with that aim and practice those tricks that we're about to show you right now. You guys ready? Cool, let's go. First, what you wanna do is go ahead and slowly place your aim to the side of your friend and allow your aim to just rest there. Now click on your left trigger and watch your aim glide inwards towards the opponent. Do this a few times and just get a good feel for the pull of aim assist. By becoming familiar with this, you're gonna be able to use it much more effectively in fights. The next step is to have your friend run around in straight paths, practicing tracking them while using aim assist. The trick is doing this effectively and pumping your left trigger half a second before you shoot. This is gonna allow for your aim to snap towards the opponent to maximize accuracy. One thing you can do if you don't have anyone to practice with is go into creative and place bots around. These bots have aim assist on them so you can just still practice using it. With aim assist, you can make use of multiple different ways for different weapons. Weapons like the revolver and even sniper can be abused by snapping your aim assist once before every shot. Also, quick scoping with the sniper will activate aim assist and it'll help you align your shot, which is really cool. Weapons with bloom like the assault rifle and SMG should also be used by spamming the left trigger and pumping your aim assist. What this does is it continuously closes your reticle and it maximizes the accuracy of your tracking. A good amount of controller pros can actually be seen using this tactic in 1v1s and pro tournaments. So now that we've gone over everything you need to know about aim assist, let me ask you this question. You guys ready to move into some all around aiming tips? Yeah, I knew you say yeah. That's why you're watching, right? Yeah, I'm so smart. A significant aspect of controller Fortnite is the use of advanced movement. Believe it or not, controller players have a considerable advantage over keyboard and mouse players due to their analog movement. Yes, we've said this before, but sometimes you just gotta hear this thing over and over again to really, really help you. The analog stick in controllers allows for 360 degree movement, which is something that keyboard and mouse players just don't have. They're limited to eight directional movement. One thing that many people do not know is that the movement is actually a really big factor when it comes to your aim. Okay, here's why. Whether you're jumping, crouching, moving side to side, front and back, your movement will always impact the spread of your shots and the maximum damage that shot compellents can output. Therefore, knowing how to use your movement to maximize your accuracy is a significant aspect of Fortnite that is really often neglected. All right, cool, so I have an idea. Let's first go over movement while using a shotgun. Shotgun pellets have a widening mechanic where jumping or moving quickly will widen the range and cause less damage. The best way to reduce this is by crouching and remaining still directly before shooting. Got it? This also acts as a strafe while you're bobbing your head up and down due to crouching. We recommend uncrouching as soon as you shoot so that you can just continue to move around and build after your shot. Second, we're gonna be looking at Bloom-based weapons once again. Bloom on these weapons can be reduced by rapid movements to the side. The way this is done is by moving the left analog stick left and right very quickly while peppering shots. Peppering is essentially spamming the right trigger instead of just holding it. Doing these two things, my friends, at the same time, it's gonna reduce the reticle as much as possible, leading to more damage per shot and high bloom reduction. 
If you want to take it even a step further, combine left and right movement, peppering and rapid crouching to get maximum bloom reduction. All three of these tricks used together are going to result in the smallest reticle possible, ultimately getting you better aim and bloom. Another aspect of using your movement to aim is actually using your left analog stick more than you do with your right analog stick. Movement-based aiming is just much more accurate than just merely flicking or just using your right analog stick due to the fine movements that just come with it. The easiest way, my friends, to do this is by mimicking an opponent's movement. If your enemy is moving to the left, then you move to the left and with them, allow your aiming to follow. This is going to reduce the amount of correction that you're going to have to do with your right analog stick, making you flick less and track more. You know, a majority of aiming is just based on muscle memory and the mindset itself. In order to just perfect your aim and be able to perform at the peak performance, you're going to have to train your aim and improve it with practice. Yeah, that's right, practice. By changing your mindset and aiming mentalities during fights, you're going to improve your aim, I guarantee you, on the spot. So the first thing you want to focus on during fights is your center reticle. All shotgun type weapons have a dot in the center of the screen, right? Allowing this with the middle of an opponent's head is going to get you the most damage possible. To give you guys an idea of how this works, okay, let's just say that you shoot someone square in the head with a blue pump, but your center reticle is at the top of their head instead of the center. You most likely won't get a 200 damage pump shot, but if you were just to align it dead center, okay, you'll most likely get the maximum damage possible with the range you're at. This is why it's essential to just focus on aligning all of your aim instead of just a part of it. All right, so moving on to the next mental aiming trick, and I put emphasis on mental. We're gonna be talking about pre-aiming, huge, okay? Which is very based off your ability just to guess and make an accurate presumption about the location of your enemies. So how this works is, all right, let's just say that you know an opponent's general direction, right? You have an idea of where they are, but can you guess where they're going to be? That's the next level. Can you do that? Can you guess and just know what they're going to do next? This is a pro level skill that many advanced players use to position their aim in the right spot. Getting really good at this is going to give you a much better aim as your aim is going to be towards the right directions more often than not now. This will increase the likelihood that your aim is already in the right spot and it's going to give you overall better precision. Plus, there's a less chance that you're going to have to flick. Using this trick around corners, walls, and even during build fights, that's going to help you get your shots way more consistent. Pre-aiming is just a great way to just instantly improve your aim. And we suggest that you start doing this, not later, but right now. So, you know, a lot of times while you're in a shotgun fight, you're going to find yourself getting low damage hits that you wouldn't usually get, right? This could be anything from 90 to even 30. This oftentimes just makes you very aggravated and very annoyed and sometimes even depressed. If you can tell by now that I'm speaking out of experience, then you're a genius. Yes, I'm talking about me and I'm sure there's many more me's out there. You know, being frustrated really doesn't help your aim whatsoever. And I'm telling you, man, I've allowed my temper at times to allow me to break controllers, keyboards, mouses, you name it, I've probably broke it, all right? So I'm speaking out of experience. It's so imperative that you guys just stay calm and focus on what's ahead, all right, rather than on what just happened. Remember that your mentality is just so crucial and it's really just as important as your mechanical skill, believe it or not. If your head's not in the game, then neither is anything else. That's the truth. In Fortnite, you know, there are a lot of extra animations and unnecessary things that can just tend to distract you while you're fighting. So to keep focus and not allow yourself to be distracted, which can happen to all of us, there are a couple of steps that you can take. All right, so first things first, go ahead and you need to turn off that controller vibration if you haven't already. Feeling your controller vibrate as you get shot can just make you freak out and you forget where you are. You start making even more mistakes when that happens. So be sure to just keep this off or at least a really, really low level of vibration. Secondly, go ahead and decrease your HUD size. Decreasing this, it's gonna open up your screen way more and allow you to see more things. Essentially, minimizing the number of distracting things that are typically taking up a large portion of your screen. Third, make sure that your game volume is at a good spot. You don't want it to be so loud enough that you can't even hear footsteps or anything, but you know, just keep it at a place where you can just hear the important audio cues. But it should never be like to the point where it's so loud that gunshots and other noises make you tense up and make mistakes. Some of you guys look crazy when you start hearing gunshots. All right, you just start freaking out. Thank God some of you, I mean, I've seen, I've seen you on camera. I know what you look like. Fine tune your volume in different scenarios to find the perfect level, all right? Fourth, you know, this actually may be, ah, man, probably the deepest uh, level of advice I could give you. Uh, try your best to avoid getting shot. <laughs> I know, I know, you, you probably never thought of that one, huh? 
Getting shot puts a lot of animations and colors on your screen, which can also be very distracting during a fight if you think about it. Practice good strafing and you're gonna make sure that you close off angles, okay? So that opponents cannot just shoot you after you shoot them. This is gonna keep the animations off your screen, but it's also gonna keep your health up and you're gonna, you're gonna live longer, which is, that's the great news. Yes, living longer is a good thing. I think we all agree on that. So, as we reach the end of this video, our final tip is going to be one that is going to be the most effective for improving your aim, so you got to listen up. We're pretty sure that you've already been aware of the popular Kovac software that is used by keyboard and mouse players to improve their aim. Well, there are two problems with it. You guys want to know? All right, let me break this down. The first one is that it's only for PC players. And two, it's only for keyboard and mouse players. All right, so uh, controller players, you definitely have a problem, right? Yes, yes, console guys, I, I, I hear you. Well, we actually have something better. We have good news. We have something better than Kovacs, and that is Creative Aim Training Map. Creative maps in Fortnite are made in so many different ways that you're going to always have a new one to practice on. We suggest that you make the most of one and then move on to another as you master the first, which is a great idea. We have an excellent video for aim courses, so be sure to check that out after you finish watching this video. What's really great about aim courses in Creative is that they're solely using the aiming mechanics in Fortnite. Kovacs, although pretty great, is nowhere as good as Creative Aim Maps, which use the exact same aiming mechanics and aim assist that Fortnite uses. So console and controller players are actually at a huge advantage as they all have these different resources ready to be used. All right, so to wrap things up, what you guys really want to focus on when it comes to your aim is your mentality. Everyone say mentality. Yes, while you're aiming in on your enemies and putting focus on your movement while you're fighting opponents in close range or far range bloom battles utilizing the multiple strategies that we showed you today. Lastly, we want you to practice, we want you to practice, and we want you to practice some more. And make sure that you're really drilling and making sure that you're mastering the aiming mechanics in Fortnite because, my friends, it takes time. So, once again, this is your guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only man, Keith Allen. Make sure to connect with me right now on my Instagram. I would love to hear from you. And we hope this video proved that controller players are just as capable as any other platform, regardless of their advantages. Controller players will always have their place as players with great aim. As always, ladies and gentlemen, we hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it and throw all your thoughts in the comments down below. We appreciate all your support and we'll see you on the next one.